we got some heft here. This is, uh, yeah, this is where all the weight comes from. Hey guys, Brian here. So today I wanna do a little bit of a different video than the other print NC videos I've posted in the last uh, couple of weeks. Uh, this is the last shipment that I got from AliExpress and I wanna just do a little unboxing. I know unboxing videos are everyone's favorite, but I feel like this one is a little bit different when it comes to uh, the print NC build. So uh, one more thing before we get into the box, uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not a huge AliExpress shopper. Uh, the Amazon Prime two day uh, shipping treatment has me spoiled. So I quickly priced things out on Amazon before I went to AliExpress. However, the price difference was just way too high for me to consider Amazon. I mean, it was, I would have spent double if I went through Amazon or eBay. So, uh, and it would have been more legwork pricing parts out. So um, the AliExpress kit or the store was, you know, it's already put together, ready to go. You just click what bundle you want. It was, uh, it was pretty slick. All right, let's dig in here. I have, um, I have taken all the tape off the box here. This did come like, like quadruple wrapped. So, uh, you know, not in the greatest shape, but let's hope that we don't find any surprises in here. All right, so USB something Mach 3. Uh, completely honest, I'm not sure what this is for. I know it's Mach 3, but we'll cross that bridge later. We got some hoses here for the uh, water cooling. And it looks like a USB type B cable here. I, I assume that's for the breakout board. I hope I didn't get a USB one. I planned on using parallel for uh, my breakout board. All right, so this is one of our 36 volt power supplies. And I believe, I believe there's two of them in here, but don't quote me on that. Stepper driver? What well, looks like a stepper driver? I thought they'd be bigger than this. <laughs> I guess that's what the uh, pro kit would include. All right, so our first stepper motor here. It's got some uh, some weight to it. Um, this is my first time working with NEMA 23s. So um, that is a nice looking stepper motor in my opinion. <clears throat> All right, this looks like a water pump. I'm probably not gonna bother opening that right now. Uh, for the water-cooled spindle. Hey, a coupling here. I ordered one on Amazon. So, uh, probably won't need this. Oh no, this will be for the X and Y, probably. All right, call it set, looks like. Okay, I'm gonna guess this is the spindle. We're gonna save that for a minute here. Probably get the box off the desk. So this looks like my, uh, my uh, spindle mount. Yes, it sh that's it sure does. Uh, that might need retapping. All right, so another uh, two more couplings here, and it looks like we got our other stepper drivers. Oh, we had a stepper driver. Okay. Now I'm gonna. These look like the bearing blocks here. Um, I'm not gonna open these right now. They look pretty greasy. Yeah, there's our snap ring. You can kind of see in there. So I will leave those for assembly. Ah, our breakout board. Okay. So now it looks like I did, <clears throat> I, did I did get the USB version here. Um, to be honest with you guys, I'm not very familiar with these breakout boards. Uh, I had planned on using serial, uh, serial connections. So I'm gonna look at, to see if this will work for me. I know that these are pretty inexpensive on Amazon if I do need a parallel breakout board. So that will be something I'll have to look into in the next couple days. All right, and this guy here looks like the BFD. <whistles> Dang. Oh, we got some heft here. This is, uh, yeah, this is where all the weight comes from. Man, <laughs> this is, uh, 
This is, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I think this weighs more than in my entire MPCNC. Got our collet on the bottom there. So, uh, man, water connections up top. And then our, our connector here. So, uh, my VFD cable is on order from AliExpress. Uh, it shouldn't take as long as, as this all took. So, um, I imagine that'll get wired into this connector here and then up to the top here. So, but man, that is impressive. And last but not least here, we, it looks like we got the VFD in here. And here it is. So not a whole lot to look at. Um, I think I will go ahead and pop this front cover off just so you guys can take a look at it. If anyone's curious about the terminal layout, I know there's a lot of documentation on this online and in the wiki. All right. So, uh, there is quite a bit, quite a bit of documentation online here of uh, how to wire this guy up. So, just to give you an idea of what the uh, inside there looks like. All right, guys. So I got everything laid out uh, outside of the box, outside of most of its packaging, and uh, we'll just take a closer look at what we have here. So the the spindle on the left here, I cannot get over how heavy this thing is. I mean. This thing is just beef. So uh, again, I got the 110 volt model and uh, this is the 2200 watt spindle. So I am running a dedicated 20 amp, uh, 20 amp circuit for the entire machine. So uh, that is something to keep in mind if you go with a 110 volt kit is, you know, at, at full load, the spindle will pull like 16, 17 amps. So just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, from the chat and discord, I know a lot of guys have not seen even above 15 amps, but that is something that you should keep in mind if you go with the 110 volt version. So here's our, our call it kit here. We'll go ahead and open this up. And before I get it open, you might be able to see here, it's sizes one through 13. And correct me if I'm wrong here, but I believe these are ranges. So this first call it will be like one to two millimeter. This will be two to three millimeter three to four millimeter, and it's like a range. So if you wanna use a quarter inch, you know, it's like what, a six to seven mil socket, or a call it, you'd use one of these two. So don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So that is kinda of gonna do it, guys. Uh, not the most exciting video, no building, but I, I did wanna make a video showing all the electronics and everything that you get with this kit. So if you guys have any questions about any of this stuff, I'll do my best to answer in the comments below. So uh, also just to give you a quick kind of sneak preview of the, some of the next videos that we're gonna be making, this is a server case that I'm gonna be using as an electronics box. Uh, shout out to my buddy Tyler for getting this empty case for me. This is going to hold the VFD, all the stepper drivers, uh, power supply, uh, everything that we will need in here. And actually since my stepper drivers are so small, I might actually be uh, putting my computer in here too. So we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes, but uh, stay tuned for uh, more videos about this as well. And we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.